can put a sending sending limit by and all that a lot. Okay? So so after that what you get is a cursor. Okay? Cursor, I forget to put a slide. You can just put it into a cursor adapter, it goes into the list view. That's all. That's what we are going to do. Lah. But if you really want to handle it right, cursor right has all the method that actually why I forget the idea. And my Okay, so this is to check for data. So in our case, right, once we get this side, right, the cursor will have like a lot of row uh, for our case. Uh, that many row. Uh. Then inside each one, right, you have to call like cursor get string with the column name and so on. But we don't do that like, because we let the adapter do for us. This one actually is quite easier, so like, so this is done. This is writing value data to the SQL database. This one we need to do it in our check, I mean the download. Lah. That's the point. Lah. We download new data, we write into the database. And I'm sorry. Okay? So writing data to SQL database, you need a, a, a object called, a class called content values. Lah. It's used to insert, it's like a row. Lah. It insert new row into the database table or update the existing row. This content value object represent a single row. Okay? So you use it like this. To add right, you create a content value. Okay? This is optional. Sometimes you're lazy, you don't need to put a zone. Actually, I don't know what the advantage. Probably just more efficient only. Lah. This means I want to put in two values. Lah. Two. So this is the variable. I put column, column, and then the value you want. Lah. So it should match exactly your table. Lah. So the table is hash. The three column is underscore ID, title, and details. See, this one is auto increment, right? You don't insert that. You just need to insert these two. First record, you become zero. Lah. Then after that, become one and two and three and so on. Okay, so these are the only two columns you need to insert, title and details. For that particular case. Lah. So, title and details. Okay, and since we never check for value now and all that, right? You in only insert title also can, you only insert details also can. Okay, after that, DB insert the table. This is usually now you don't have to check lah. You have to read what is it. It's a now check. But usually you don't have to check. Just put in the value then you go inside. Because if you want to put now check right, it's not here. It's actually you have to set it to here. Not now lah. But I didn't set lah. Because this doesn't matter. Okay. So this is to add a record. That's all. And then this is to edit. So when you edit, right, you also need the content value. Same as this one. Because it depends on which column you want to edit. Lah. So if you want to, let's say you want to update the title, right, you just need to add title into the values. Lah. Like this. Lah. Okay? Then table also, the, the value you, this is one row only lah, because I only put one. This one is what I mean. Lah. Why do I put capital? <laughs> okay? This is the meaning of what I said, selection. Then the question mark that you check for what you want to check. So it's an array. So you need to create an array. So the ID should be small cap. This is. Or oh, actually, it doesn't. SQL like statement case sensitive or not? Not case sensitive, right? Then it doesn't matter. Okay? So this is the delete, lah. similar to update. Lah. So in this case, I, I will delete the row that actually match this equal to this. Lah. This is a string. This is the value you generate from whatever you are doing now. Lah. Probably for users select a row. Lah. Select, user select a row, you retrieve the ID, you put it here, you will delete the row. Lah. So for example, let's say I know the USM, I click on it and I can delete it. Obviously, you need to retrieve the ID from the USM. Lah. Of course, you say, how do you retrieve the ID from USM? That's why actually you, you make it underscore ID. If you make it underscore ID, right, you can retrieve it easily. There's a method, there's a method you can do that. If you like let's say you want to retrieve something else, it's not that easy or something. That's why actually we use the underscore ID. Because now when I click on it, right, I can retrieve it in the on item click listener. Okay, this is the, the four things you can do right? to read, to read. To create, to update, and to delete. C R U D right? How means read right? Create, read, update, delete. 
Okay, exactly. Yeah. So it's quite easy lah, actually. Okay, so now finally the transactions is the one that actually if you want all the operations right, either they all go through or fail or means actually either they all go through or if one of them fail you don't want to continue, you use transactions up. So for example, you start DB begin transaction and you then you try all the statements you are going to do. Okay, this is useful when you really only want Let's say you are updating a table based on some new value. So you are downloading down and so on. And then you do it in, on the goal. Uh. If it's halfway what break or something, you just roll back. Uh. Why? Because you don't want your data table to half updated, half not. Depends, I don't know what's your case, uh, but this is how you make sure if it's all success, everything success. If halfway fail, right? You roll back the previous all success. The one actually you done also you all roll back. How does it do it? Because once you call begin transaction, right? You just try and run. If you complete, right? Then you will get you will call this. This is the statement that actually make it commit it. If they don't see this, right? And that because no matter what, this will be called. Begin and end will be called. But if they don't see this, right? They will just roll back everything. Then just end. Means if. You, you see, let's say there are 10 what, what, hundred lines here and you only finish like 50, right? Then you will jump to here man, because you have to call man, finally. Then you just re, re, roll back all the 50 transactions. They never commit. Lah. And then this end. Lah. If it's all hundred success, right? Then this line will be set. It will be complete. Lah. And this is the... If like, battery die halfway, then it will roll back. <laughs> I think you roll back because even battery die halfway, right? They still, if I think you still see that actually they know we need to shut down, right? They, 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 I think they will do something because technically when they shut down, right? It's not zero, right? They just shut down. Actually, I think we need to shut down now. If later shut down, we really cannot do anything else. But I think if you take out battery, right? There's a big problem, right? But roll back, it means that the previous got or already got rid data. No, it's correct. You insert, 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 insert 50 line or update, update 50 line. Uh. Suddenly the 55 line, right? Don't know what happens. Uh. But he said, like, actually, it need to shut down already. Uh. Then he actually just, it's just ignore all the transactions. It's it means right? it, it never commit it. Uh. Seems like do nothing. Uh, you do nothing, like totally do nothing, and then just like you, net, you have done nothing. Uh. So if you cut the battery, it's just do nothing only. Uh. No need to say True, go so back one. What I said, it's not even commit yet. So it's okay. It's never done yet. It's yeah. not, not committed yet. Because previous data is still... It's in the memory. Yeah, it's in the memory. Oh, it's in the memory, you're right. It's correct. So I think it doesn't matter. As long as you have no time to set this, right, it, wouldn't, it doesn't do anything on the file. It's only done as something on the file when it's CD and then end. Okay. So another situation is that when they do that one, uh, then the battery die. <laughs> you mean after this line, the battery die? No, after this line, the battery After this line, it's okay. This, this, that line is insert. Insert already. Uh. No, once you end here, right, and then this is being set before, right, the file has changed. Uh. This file has changed. Uh. Technically, you just want to change this file. Uh. So as long as this file has never changed, right, then it's okay. Uh. So actually, if, let's say this file has never changed and then you, you do two things even though you set transaction successful but you still haven't managed to save anything I think you just do nothing lah because you need to give you some time to save on the file lah but I don't think you can do so exact lah yeah. Not, it's actually yeah. very very fast one lah So we will actually have to do something similar which actually technically you look at it also actually seems like quite easy la. It's actually quite easy la. Okay, let's say we want to create our app actually so that these are all loaded from database instead of, uh, of uh, from the internet 